Hi folks, it's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids and uh, now we're on to the letter D. And um, I thought, oh goodness, how am I going to do this? Because um, I've got quite a few dendrobiums and uh, I thought well, this will have to be indefinitely in two parts uh, because I've got some that are mounted and quite a few that are potted. So the one we're looking at now is uh, Dendrobium plicatile and the cinnamon is Flickingiera fimbriata. Uh, now this has flowered for me. Um, I think the date was sometime in 18 and uh, you'll see I split it up because this is quite a big plant and it does lend to be um, mounted. So this one here has been mounted quite a while and this is on um, court bark and it's got a few roots there um, but what it does it grows from these canes here so that's a new um, extension I don't know what else to call it really but that's just how it grows that's why um, you know, in a tree, it would be fine because it'd be hanging down and um, see there's a little bit of water damage there. Um, so this one's doing quite well. It doesn't seem to bother that it has roots outside, although some of the roots uh, do go actually into that moss. And um, I've got a, in the windowsill there, you'll see I've got a, a tub of um, fertiliser there. That's the uh, shootanil. Uh, and the uh, the other little uh, neo finisher there and they're just being fed and watered so if I come back to here uh, so once I finish filming um, these will get some of that fertilised water over them and if we go to this one here put that one there and, uh, now this one I've only just um, remounted this one and actually this one could either sit on the shelf uh, but I've got it hanging up here on the back wall uh, and it was in that um, lattice type um, wooden structure but part of it was dead can you see how long it is and um, I thought well that's really got to come off there I can't be doing with um, plants that are half dead and the other half's alive and if you'll notice there see we've got plenty of roots and I'm hoping now um, these roots might find the way onto this piece of wood and I've put a, a screw in there so I can either lay it flat like I've just said or I can hang that up and actually if I show you where it hangs you just bear with me a minute and I don't go too out of focus I'll show you where it hangs. It hangs really high, so the, those leaves have got plenty of room in which to come down. Okay, so let's go back over here. Let's go onto these two little ones. Um, and this is Dendrobium uh, Lada Jesse. When did I get that? Um, 0916. Sorry about that. And I've really struggled with this one. Everybody else's have, have taken off and I've had this in all different uh, medias. And then I put it on this little mount here. This is just a little piece of bark. Uh, and it loves it. And, uh, excuse the wobbling, I'm just holding my tablet. Uh, so... That's fine now. It's found its little niche and it's got plenty of room to go. Uh, so we'll put that just over there for a minute. Um, this is um, that cutting um, those cakeys from uh, Roger. And this is Dendrobium chrysium. I call it Roger's orchids. And uh, look at those new growths. Now we've got that root over there. But for some... Oh, maybe... Maybe just there, we might have a sign of something wanting to develop there. Again, you see, it's lovely and healthy. Um, and this is due to be watered and fed. 
So uh, that's uh, Dendrobium Chrysium. Right, so these, these are all recently remounted. And this is Dendrobium Tetragonum. Again. Oops. Oh, excuse the noise. Come on. There we go. That's little baby. And that's the other one. See, they get actually first thing this morning I did check it and that um sphagnum moss had still got a little bit of dampness in it. So um but it's doing well. Got that little foot there. And uh, that just sits on that shelf there. And that's doing well. And uh, let me just bring this here now. And I'll just lift another one off here. What I don't want to do, of course, is uh, disturb anything that uh, I've got growing. And uh, this one here. Isn't that nice? Look at that. And that is um, Dendrobium pendulum. We'll see there, look at that root. Finding its way, tucking its way under there. And uh, where's the other one? Where's the other one gone? Here's the other one. So that's on a piece of court bar. And when this came, excuse the noise outside, um, that one there, so that's a new growth this year, this one. So when it came, it was on this cane here. And, uh, ooh, I thought for a minute then I got something wanting to come out of those canes, but I don't think I have. So, um, and it was in one of those funny little baskets, so I promptly um, decided to remount this. And I put this little piece here. This is baby, and that one has produced that nice new growth there. And it's setting down roots. Um, so, and that's the way it'll grow. And then eventually the weight of it will pull it down. So let's just put this back over here. I'm always so careful with the uh, mounts because uh, I'm frightened of dropping them and um, and losing uh, their new shoots. Right, so put that one over there. And uh, I'm just going to show you this one. I mean, I've got some of these um, Dendrobium Phalaenopsis ones. And they've struggled with these. Now, this one has actually kept all its leaves. And I noticed, was it yesterday? Let's see if I can... Oops, just hold this. Now, where did I see it on here? Seen it somewhere. I don't know whether you'll see that. Let's see if I can show you. Without, no, let me see where is it. There. Can you just see that there? A little tiny green root. I've actually thought about throwing this one out because it's done absolutely nothing and I thought to all intents and purposes it's a gunner but see it's taken all this while so uh, that'll get fed and watered again today now let's just have a look um, now this is one here that I've recently mounted all of these pieces of wood, you know, I find them in the garden. They must have been old trees that we've had. I've no idea what they are. 
because we've had uh, silver birch, we've had all kinds of trees. And then, because we've been here 30 years, so over the years, some of them we've decided, oh well, um, they've got to come down because uh, they're too big, we can't handle those. And uh, some of them, for whatever reason, have died. Uh, so this is um, Dendrobrium polyanthem. Let's see if I can get that to focus proper. Sorry about that. And, uh, and this just hangs over there. But actually, these canes and partial of that um, growth just hangs up in the corner here on that rod and it loves it. And uh, oh, where am I going to? Oh, put that over there. Let's just hang that down and uh, yeah, I'll get this little bit. And that's the one I've got growing on for Roger. So uh, that'll be fine. Right, let's show you the next one. I'm in a bit of a confined space and it's 24.4 so it's gone up 4 degrees and it's 75% humidity in here and I want to pick this one up Ooh, excuse me right I didn't dare uh, show you this because um, let's have a look what we've got here we've got Dendrobium Li Chang Yi Miriam there we are. And this was in that um, coconut husk in that basket. And I'd uh, wedged it up inside, didn't I, with a few stones. Well, I was rather concerned because some of these canes at the bottom I started to get rather... Um, they look like rotting. They weren't rotting, but I couldn't rub them off. They just, I didn't like them. And my suspicion said to me, get it out of that basket. So I couldn't have shown you this because it took me two hours to get it out of the darn basket. And um, anyway, believe it or not, I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't look as though it's been traumatised, does it? But this went through major surgery. And I got rid of all the back bulbs, the back canes. And um, I've put it here on this, I call it the old man. No, this looks like an old man. Like a walking cane. And it hangs in the window. There, it hangs from the rod. And that it, I have it that way. But it, you see... He's got a seat there, and he can sit on the uh, on the shelving. But I prefer to have it hanging. And so what I, I checked, see whether I've got any viable eyes. What's he going to show you there? It's a bit awkward. Let me just see if I can get it to wedge in there. And. Uh, There might be one there. It's debatable. Um, and I think there might be one at the bottom. But I've got this new growth here. And those other growths, like you see now there. I mean, they're very healthy. You can see how big it is. And, um, see, that'll just get watered and fed. So, I'm quite chuffed with that. I needed to get it out of that um, coconut husk. You see that new one there? Let's have a look at it on the side. Uh, tipping over. Has got the new roots starting to develop. So it was a good time. And if I put this down here now, out of the way. There we go. I will uh, get on to the next one. 
and this is um, Dendrobium lamellatum. That one has flowered for me, that came last year. The leaves just like a lot of water. So um, I usually just plunge this into some water or and if I don't do that, I, what I usually do then is just uh, get the big spray can and um, spray it. Does like a lot of water that does. And uh, and then this is the other one, um, which is Dendrobium pseudo lamellatum. And this is the one that I do have trouble with these new growth because if you get any water on them at all I'm not sure there's something still in there um, can you just see there you can see can't you there's something could still be in there but it's sending out that new growth there this has been on this court mount for quite a while and as you'll see there can you see I'm not sure whether that's a root oh look another one there so uh, oh it's exciting things are developing another one down there so I put that you see the, they are quite dry and I you know I water every other day so uh, oops and there's the other one let's have a look at this one This one, when it came, um, now that one we've just looked at, I call that Avatar. That's its nickname. And this is the other section of it. There, there was one you see last year. Got that far down. And I must have got some spray water on that growth. It doesn't like any form of water on the new growth. And so if I lift this up. Got a new leaf there, and somewhere down here, you'll just see tucked in there. Can you see there? That's another one. And uh, these don't seem um, as though they need as much water as the lamellatum. This is where they flower from, from these little ends. And they did flower for me last year, so I was. Uh, I was very lucky. Now let's just have a look if I've got anything else now. Uh, I'll show you this one because this one is um, one that I've uh, mounted. And this is Dendrobium falco rostrum. The other part, the other biggest part, uh, is in a pot. This has got no leaves. And... Uh, there we go, and it's sending out all these new growths. So, and this just sits up here, minding its own business. Let's get it wedged on. There we go. Just sits up there, minding its own business. And uh, let's show you the next one then. Ooh, sweating cups. Okay, so this one, look at this one. Now this is actually been reclassified and it's a docorilia. And uh, to all intents and purposes, you know, I still think of it as a uh, dendrobium. But uh, it's a funny thing this is. It took me ages to get this one right. And it sends these needles out. They don't have leaves, they have needles. And at some point it's supposed to flower. But I don't know where they flower from. And this is uh, this is quite a, a thirsty plant as well. So we'll put that back over here. And then they, they, they each have their own little hanging space. Uh, now... What's this one? This is a 
Have I put a label in it? No. So this is a... Uh, it did have a name. It's a Dendrobium um, Nobly. But I don't know which one it is. Uh, again, it's one of those that I just had a little bit that had broken off. So I mounted it on this tiny piece of cork. Can you see there? And uh, it's grown. That just gets thrown in the water, but when it's time for watering, and uh, have I got? I've got some of the uh, other big dendrobiums, uh, which I will. Um, I'll show you after. Uh, this is a, a tiny one here. Let me show you this one. And this is one of those furry ones. And this is Dendrobium williams eye. Lovely little thing this is. It's a species one. And uh, this has two distinct seasons. Now, come on. Let's get a little bit of light going on here. Come here. See if I get it a little bit lighter. There we go. And since I've put it on this little mound here, can you see that new little growth just behind there? Where is it? Where are you going to see it? There. Can you just see? So, uh, it's only on a little tiny piece of wood. It's never flowered for me yet because I've never really found um, the right home for it. But I think it's all right now. And I think what I what I do with these is I don't give them that winter rest. And that's what I've got to uh, when I finish work this week. Oh, isn't that marvellous? When I finish work this week, goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to have to write down and, and decide and look all at my all my notes and decide which are the winter resters and uh, and give them a good winter rest. Now this one, this came last year. Did it come last year? Oh no, it came in January this year. And this is Dendrobium J.O. Candy. This was the one. But uh, you can see how, how it's bloomed. Look at all the flower spikes there. Um, and I split this one. But then I've decided uh, to mount it. And as soon as I mounted it, as soon as I mounted it, it sent out these new growths. So some of these just... They like to hang, you see. Sorry about that. Let me just show you where it hangs. It hangs there. You see? Just hangs there. And some of them do like to uh, like to be they like to have their little niche. And I'm just looking around very quickly now because you know what I'm like, I always miss something. So just quickly scanning around to see if there's anything else with it. I mean, I've got another little section here. Oh yeah, I found another one. Two actually. This one here. And actually I would have named that Dendrobium um, Comet King Asuki. I think I've got a larger one of this. And again, that's another little piece that I mounted. And here's one here. Now these are just the mounts that I'm just showing you. And, uh, and this is uh, Dendrobium monelliform. That's just on this uh, cork bark. And uh, let's have a feel of that one. See, that's not really technically... Um, completely dry yet so I shan't be watering that uh, or feeding that today it has to really dry out so I think that's going to be it my friends uh, for today's um, video on uh, 
my alphabet beginning with D. I've got little um, cakeys growing, um, but I might show you them on my next video. So thank you for joining me and until next time, take care. Bye bye now.